the Asus ROG Zephyrus M16. The poor man's XPS or uh, the gamer's XPS. Let's take a look. Yo, what up YouTube? Crash Wilcox. And today we are taking a look at the Asus M16. Uh, just kind of joking there about the uh, poor man's XPS. A little bit of a joke. Uh, we'll see as we go through this, but yep, just pick this thing up and just gonna go through kind of our normal uh, review process here, kind of looking at what the computer is, um, you know, the parts, the specs, then we'll dive into some of the benchmarks and then we'll come back here and I'll wrap it up on my final thoughts if I think this is something that's worth your money. So the reason I, I think, you know, calling it the poor man's XPS is because in a lot of ways, you know, it, it lines up with what the XPS offers. Um, you know, obviously the XPS sells to a different crowd, but it literally half the money of the XPS and really what you're losing here is um, kind of the aesthetics and that's about it. Um, you know, the components are both the same as we go through here. And when I get to the benchmarks, I will, uh, I'll try to have the XPS numbers for the XPS 17 um, is what I'm talking about that I've reviewed on this channel. Just so you can kind of see um, where this one aligns because a lot of people nowadays aren't just strictly gamers or strictly content creators, right? They kind of want to balance the best of both and the XPS can certainly do that but for a pretty hefty price tag. Um, where I think this can sort of do a lot of those same things uh, and save you a whole chunk of change. So just kind of going through this, what the specs are here. So obviously 16 inch laptop, um, but what's great about it is it's a 16 inch laptop in a 15 inch frame, basically. And um, you see on the screen right here, sitting next to uh, the MSI Delta 15 that we just reviewed and I mean, it's a 15 inch laptop, except for the screen, um, 16 inch screen, beautiful screen. It has a i9 11900H with an RTX 3060. So again, mirroring the same sort of components that the XPS had. Um, the only difference here is you get a, a slightly more powerful RTX. Uh, I believe the XPS is a 60 watt that can I think it boosts up to like 75 or something watts. This is an 80 watt RTX 3060 that'll boost to 95 watts. So a little bit more powerful there. Um, this one comes with 16 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte SSD. It is a 2560 by, what is it? 1600 screen. So that 2K screen, um, weighing in about 4.2 pounds, it's really lightweight. Um, the build quality is pretty solid. You know, it has like this aluminum um, top. It does do the, uh, the one finger lift, if that is at all important to you. It's got the one finger lift. Um, the inside is like that normal ROG Zephyrus, like plasticky uh, material, but it does have its nice, you know, coating on it that makes it feel a little bit nicer. The rounded edges, um, and then it has that sort of shimmery, um, whatever that is with the film that they put behind the holes on the, the screen or on the monitor backing here on the top of the laptop. And then underneath, it doesn't have the best ventilation of any laptop you know that I've seen, but it doesn't seem to get overly hot, so um, it works. Uh, just kind of going around here um, on the back side, you know, it's got nothing, just some exhaust vents. Moving around to the left side of the laptop, uh, it's got. Yeah, just more exhaust vents. 
And then over here, we got a micro SD card reader plus a USB type A, I believe that is, ooh, I'll have it up on the screen. It's 3.2 Gen 1 or Gen 2, it'll be on the screen. I left my phone somewhere else, so I don't remember all the things. And then over on the right side is the vomit of ports. So if you are a uh, fan of laptop ports, then this is heaven for you because this has everything under the sun. It has, you know, it's power port. It's got the HDMI that's 2.0, RJ45, USB. I, again, it'll be on the screen, but I believe it's 3.2 Gen 1. You got Thunderbolt 4, and then you've got USB 3. Point whatever um, Type C. And this one does have um, display port pass through with power delivery as well. So you can um, charge this with a Type C, which is nice. And then it's got your audio, um, your like universal audio jack there as well, which is nice. So then here on the inside, um, I'll just touch real quickly on what I don't like about this because there's very few things that I don't like. Obviously, if you look at any reviews here, then you know it's got your status like indicator lights on here. And the way that this thing opens, those lights will reflect onto the screen. Is it a big deal? No, not really. I mean, you don't notice it a ton, but it's a thing. <laughs> it's definitely, I think, a design flaw. I, you know, I wish Asus would have caught that. I don't know how they didn't, but it's not a huge deal, but it's a deal. So that's the thing. A bigger issue is this doesn't have um, facial recognition, but it does have the Windows Hello with the fingerprint reader that is in the power button. But I would tell you, just assume this does not have Windows Hello. The fingerprint reader works maybe 10% of the time. It's one of the worst fingerprint readers I've ever used on a laptop. Um, so I don't even consider it really as being there. Um, the keyboard is really nice. Uh, I think Asus in sort of this more recent iteration of their uh, ROG Zephyrus laptops, I think their keyboards are great. Uh, the keys feel, you know, tactile, but not overly clicky. Um, they've got a good, you know, bottom out, feels really nice when you're typing. The keys are spaced out very well. Backlighting is great on here. This is a single zone RGB backlighting that you can, you know, customize however you want. It's got some, you know, different effects you can cycle through the normal, you know, breeding, rainbow, whatever, the, not rainbow, but like, yeah, like the rainbow where, you know, whatever it, it does its thing. Um, the trackpad, again, sort of in that vein of like an XPS, this thing's got a massive trackpad and it feels good, it's accurate, the click is, um, you know, very noticeable, and no issues with this trackpad. I love, again, much like the keyboard with the Rock Zephyrus, love the trackpad that they've started putting on these. They are wonderful. Um, right in line, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, with the XPS lineup. So um, that is great. Uh, I will say, I think the Armory Crate that comes with these sort of the Asus Command Center sort of software, I think this is the best that I've used, you know, from MSI to Dell to, you know, whatever the, the brand is. Armory Crate is easy to navigate, does all the things you want, works really well. So I'm a fan of Armory Crate. Um, it's got a 90 watt hour battery, which will get you well over 10 hours of, um, you know, light usage. So the battery is great in this. Like I mentioned, it does have USB-C charging. So that is wonderful. Um, oh, it has, uh, so it has eight gigs of RAM soldered to the motherboard that you, you know, can't obviously change, but it does have one, um, RAM slot that you can upgrade on your own if you choose to. So this will hold up to, what is that? Like 48 gigs of RAM, 40, what is it? 8, 32, so 40 gigs of RAM, something like that, that you can put on this thing. But really, 
I'd say for most people that would be potentially using this to create content, maybe bump it to 24 gigs. That's probably all you'll ever need. Um, so there's that. It has two M.2 slots that are both, you know, upgradable, obviously. And what's great is they are both PCIe Gen 4. So um, you're not leaving any performance on the table there. So that is really nice. Uh, speakers sound good. You know, again, maybe not XPS level, not MacBook level, but they're good. They work. And what else? Oh, the screen. Obviously, kind of the big selling point, the 16-inch screen. Screen is beautiful. Um, well over 500 nits of brightness. Again, matching that XPS in brightness. Um, and then let me just pull up the colors here. So obviously they market, you know, big time not or 100% DCI-P3, 100% uh, sRGB. And then according to here, it's 94% Adobe RGB. So incredibly color accurate screen, very bright. Um, you know, it's a, an inch smaller, a little bit smaller than the XPS 17, but as far as color accuracy and brightness for a content creator, no limitations here, beautiful screen. So that is really about it for the specs here. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into the benchmarks, sort of running through the normal uh, content creation type stuff, the, uh, the built-in benchmarks, we'll do some gaming benchmarks, all that sort of stuff. And again, I'll try to have the XPS 17 color, or colors, uh, numbers, just so you can see. Because really, I think for most people, again, if you got, got the money and you like the look then spend it but for most of us you know you're trying to make do get the best that you can for the least amount of money right and I think for most people if you're sort of comparing apples to apples um, this does a lot that the XPS does and again saves you a lot of money so you'll see that on the screen and then once we're done we'll come back and I'll kind of give you my final thoughts
right, so there you have it. That's the Asus M16. And in my opinion, um, this to me is Asus hit a home run. This is a wonderful laptop. It has some things I would change, sure. Fingerprint reader, the status indicator lights, not a big fan of the you know explosion of IO ports, but it doesn't leave you with any limitations there. And then just as far as performance, sort of per dollar, uh, this thing is amazing. You know, you can game on it wonderfully. You know, really a 3060 in a laptop is pretty much what you need. You know, it's funny, they always talk about like, well, you know, they got, and I think I forgot to mention, this is a 165 hertz refresh rate screen, um, which is wonderful. Again, the Dell XPS, if you're talking a 60 hertz screen, and they're always like, well, you know, that works for an esports or, you know, a gamer, whatever. If you're like an esports gamer and you're making money off gaming, you're probably not gaming on a laptop. Let's be real. But so this screen, this GPU is plenty powerful for the average gamer that would be doing something like this. It's plenty powerful for the average content creator. Um, it's light enough and portable enough to take with you wherever you want. The screen's bright enough to work outside. There's upgrade ability, so you're not limited. Um, so you could potentially have this for a couple years. Um, you know, obviously the 3060 in a year, two, three years, something like that might become a limitation for you. But for 16, 1700 bucks, you know, depending on where you get this and the time and the deals and stuff that are out there, you know, if it only lasts you for two years, I mean, I know not everybody's money situation is the same, but eh, that's not bad, you know, so. All in all, wonderful laptop. I would highly recommend it. I think the Rock Zephyrus lineup is wonderful, and this model in specific is wonderful. So um, well done, Asus. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments about this laptop, please let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to those as quickly as possible. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today. God bless.